The universe is far stranger than we ever imagined. The deeper we look into it, the more it defies explanation. Something bizarre is happening in the depths of the early universe, and scientists are completely stumped. The theories they've trusted for decades are beginning to crack apart as mysterious unidentified objects appear in deep field images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. And what we collectively saw as a group is we have the highest resolution infrared images taken from space. These aren't galaxies, not the kind we've ever seen before. They're unlike anything humanity has ever classified, and they could change everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. Recently, astronomers discovered a collection of these strange entities scattered across the distant universe. And all these little dots are stars. All these little dots are galaxies, uh, some of which are bigger than them. Webb has peered further back than any telescope in history, beyond what scientists call the Cosmic Dark Ages, the period when the universe's first light began to emerge. What it found there has left experts stunned. These early structures do not fit into our existing cosmological models. They seem too large, too organized, and too bright to exist in such a young universe. In fact, their existence threatens to rewrite the entire story of cosmic creation. According to the standard picture, the universe began around 13.8 billion years ago in an explosive event known as the Big Bang. Out of that moment came everything, space, time, matter, and energy. For decades, this idea has been supported by countless observations, from the cosmic microwave background to the large-scale structure of galaxies. But now, new data paints a conflicting picture. Some scientists, including Nobel Prize-winning physicists, are starting to question whether the universe even had a beginning at all. Could it be far older or far stranger than we've ever imagined? Could what we call the early universe actually be something else entirely? The framework that has guided modern cosmology for years is known as the Lambda CDM model. It combines the effects of cold dark matter and dark energy to describe how the universe expanded and evolved. But Webb's latest findings are tearing at its foundation. But James Webb just broke everything. The telescope has found objects so massive and star-filled that they shouldn't exist so soon after the Big Bang. The Lambda CDM model simply doesn't allow for enough ordinary matter to gather and form these gigantic stellar systems within a few hundred million years. For that to happen, every atom of gas in the cosmos would have had to condense into stars almost instantly, a process that defies everything we know about physics. So what exactly did Webb see at the edge of the observable universe? To understand it, we have to revisit one of the most important discoveries in science. In 1929, Edwin Hubble revealed that the universe is expanding. Galaxies aren't flying through space, they're being carried away as space itself stretches. What's more, this expansion is accelerating. Distant galaxies aren't just drifting, they're racing away faster and faster. That acceleration led scientists to discover a mysterious force we now call dark energy. Here's where things get even stranger. No matter where you stand in the universe, it always appears as if you're at the center, with everything else moving away. There's no single point of origin. Expansion happens everywhere at once. And at the extreme edges of what we can see lies the Hubble sphere, the region where galaxies move away from us at the speed of light. Beyond that sphere, galaxies recede even faster. Logic says we shouldn't be able to see them, yet we do. That's because as space expands, the Hubble sphere itself grows, pulling light from once unreachable galaxies into view. It's as if the universe is constantly changing the rules of what we can see. Still, there's a limit. The observable universe is a vast bubble about 92 billion light years across. Beyond that boundary lies an endless unknown. At its edge is the cosmic microwave background, the faint afterglow of creation. It's the oldest light in existence, a whisper from the moment the universe became transparent. When Webb stares deep into the cosmos, it's not just looking far away, it's looking back in time. Every glimmer of light carries an ancient story. The farther away a galaxy is, the older that story becomes. One of Webb's most remarkable discoveries, Jada's GSZ-14, is the most distant galaxy ever observed. The light reaching us from it began its journey when the universe was only about 290 million years old. The James Webb Telescope has identified galaxies. 
What we're seeing now is that galaxy's baby picture. The galaxy itself has already moved beyond our observable universe. Its current light forever lost to us because of the accelerating expansion of space. And here's the twist. If the universe is truly infinite, as many scientists believe, then it has always been infinite. The Big Bang didn't happen at one single point. It happened everywhere simultaneously. Every corner of space expanded together, and the same process continues even now. When you look at the night sky, you're not just seeing distant stars. You're witnessing the ancient light of an infinite universe still unfolding. The formation of the first galaxies wasn't a single event in one region. It happened everywhere, all at once. The cosmic microwave background is the frozen echo of that transformation, the first light that ever existed. But now, Webb is showing us that the story might not be so simple. It was expected to find dim, primitive galaxies, small, chaotic structures just starting to form. James Webb Telescope has finally confirmed that our understanding of the universe was completely wrong. Instead, it found something completely unexpected. Large, luminous systems that look mature, filled with stars, and far too organized for their age. These are not isolated cases. Webb sees them everywhere it looks into that deep, ancient region of space. A recent study in the Astrophysical Journal reported the detection of 87 galaxies that may have existed just 200 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. That's absurdly early. According to the standard model, galaxies of that size and brightness shouldn't appear until billions of years later. They're too massive, too structured, and far too luminous for a young universe still cooling from its fiery birth. Astronomers have tried to explain it away. Maybe Webb's instruments were misreading the data. Maybe the light was distorted. But the evidence keeps building. When scientists used spectroscopy to analyze these galaxies' chemical fingerprints, they found something even more shocking. These objects had already turned almost all their gas into stars. Normally, galaxies convert only about 10% of their gas into stars over billions of years. But these early galaxies appear to have used nearly 100%. They burned through everything. No dust, no leftover gas, just blinding stellar light. This shouldn't be possible. According to our best understanding, a galaxy can't use all its material like that. It should take billions of years to grow and evolve, slowly turning its gas into stars. Yet these galaxies look fully formed almost immediately after the universe began. Such a galaxy would give us key insights into the formation of the early universe. If that's true, then our models of cosmic evolution are wrong. Some scientists now suspect we may not even be looking at galaxies in the traditional sense. They could be something entirely new. Massive clusters of primordial stars, strange dark matter-driven structures, or even evidence of physics we haven't discovered yet. Hao Jing Yan, one of the leading astronomers studying these objects, has said that even if only a few of these candidates turn out to be real, it would still force us to rethink how galaxies came into existence. Uh, one thing that I also wanted to, to point out is that uh, this, this very high version of galaxy. The implications are enormous. If galaxies formed this quickly, it would mean the universe was far more efficient at building structure than we thought. It could also suggest that dark matter behaves differently than expected, or that time and expansion unfolded at a different rate in the early universe. Some even speculate that our concept of the Big Bang itself may need revision. That the event we think of as the beginning might not have been the true start of everything, but just one transition in a much older, possibly eternal cosmos. Webb's discoveries are forcing cosmologists to confront uncomfortable questions. Have we misunderstood the timeline of creation? Are the constants and equations we use to describe the cosmos incomplete? Or is the universe far more complex than our instruments can yet reveal? What's certain is that the early universe wasn't quiet or empty. It was vibrant, full of energy and light, with massive structures forming far earlier than anyone thought possible. The James Webb Space Telescope, designed to peer into the cosmic dawn, has ended up challenging the very idea of what that dawn looked like. Instead of a slow awakening, it might have been an instant blaze of creation. If these bright, massive entities truly are galaxies, then the Big Bang model as we know it can't fully explain them. They shouldn't exist, but they do. 
and that means something fundamental about our understanding of reality is missing. Perhaps these strange cosmic objects are glimpses of an unseen mechanism that shaped the early universe. Something beyond dark matter, beyond dark energy, beyond even the Big Bang itself. Each time we look deeper, the universe pushes back with another mystery. Webb was built to show us our beginnings, but instead it might be showing us how little we actually know. Maybe the truth is that the universe didn't begin, it simply changed. It's possible that creation isn't a single event, but a process that never ends. A cosmic cycle still unfolding before our eyes. So what are these objects? Ancient galactic titans? Unknown cosmic factories? Or hints of an entirely new kind of matter? No one knows yet. But one thing is certain. The James Webb Space Telescope has just rewritten the map of the universe. Every new image from its golden mirrors pulls us further into the unknown, and with each discovery, the cosmos grows not smaller, but infinitely larger and stranger. And perhaps that's the most beautiful truth of all. The more we learn, the less we understand, and the deeper our curiosity takes us into the endless mystery of the universe.